Yeah. I'm a VIP. <laughs> you, you, you made me a yeah, VIP. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're you top on the list. But, but to be in the video, you got to remove your mask. All right, what's up? I'm here with King at uh, Saks Toronto, and we're doing a first impressions on Oud Rosewood, which just came in today. First bottle in Canada. First, first bottle in Canada. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Who did you call first when it came? No, I, I did call you because you just you asked me the day before they came in. I forgot it's been so long since I bought a Dior, I forgot how to open these. Okay. Unzip. <laughs> it's fine. Unzip our bottle. All right, in front of Dior. So what do you, what do you, <laughs> this is Dior's picture. Right, right, right. It's a gorgeous okay. display. What are you expecting from this? What do you What do you think it's going to smell like? Well, first of all, it should be really similar with this. Okay. Ooh. I think. Yeah. Nope. So we have three booths now. There's only one. There's one more called Leather Boot in Europe. That's the most dominant, the most masculinity one. Right. This is the exotic and the romantic one. This is the modern one. Very I modern. I think this is the lightest one. I think they're all very one. strong. Close to me, I think this is the lightest out of four. So we're expecting different take on food. I think it should be cuter. From the description, I saw the word animalic, so I'm expecting something with like some gusto, you know, aggressive. I want it to be like pretty. Burr. There's a house of rose in there. <laughs> Well, let's look at the color. I know you always try to expect something huge. It's very ambery, kind of like spice blend or... Uh, I don't think it's going to be um, ombre. Actually, it's darker than ombre. Do you have a blotter? Yeah. It's brand new. I don't think by the color of it, it's going to be pretty. I don't think it's going to be romantic or cute yeah, either. I'm be, expecting teeth, hair, balls. Leather. Hmm? It's very soft. You think soft? Yeah. You think it's not? I think it's softer than um, Purpleude. You see, there's something I don't get. This is lighter. Really? I think this is smoother. I can't picture it yet. Ooh. <laughs> this reminds me of leather wood. <laughs> really? Yes. It's really dark and animatic. <laughs> I get leather for sure. Does it have leather in the nose? At least the Gaia wood, do you say? It's the very spicy one. The spicy one. I get spices, yeah. It's funky. It's definitely funky. Like it's got I some think kind it's very of. Over the top. Over the top? Yeah. For who? For who said it's very over the top? What do you think? I get a lot of funk. Like, I know you um, like it. It's on your style, it's like matching on your style, like this, on your favorite category. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think of it yet. Here, give it a shot. I don't know. Let me put some on skin. Because I think smelling from here, yeah. it's very wild. Okay. It's very wild, very woody, very dark. Definitely I can see what it was romantic. No, it has it's, nothing to do with it. But it's not it. aggressive either. Like, so rose wood. Wood rose wood. So it's a type of. It's not a rose. It's like a woody, a rosy wood. It's just happened to call rose. Nothing to do with rose in there. I thought there would be rose in there. I don't know what you think. I think it's, I think Purple Oud is more mass pleasing than this is. This is funky. Okay. 
Now you can sell this to the, all the girls that bought it. Is it popular? Girls bought this. Because it's easy, Guy it's a it. very easy to like yeah. food. I don't know why guys doesn't like it. So that's why I think I like it. it's lighter because I always think I have a taste in female in fragrance. So right. I think this is lighter. I use it. I think it's dark. that's very it's bold and loud, but yeah. it's not as it's easier to like than this. I don't think I don't I know what you mean. You 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 think this is dark like heavier? Right, it's got, I don't think it's lighter because I think it's more polite in the style. Right. Um, because I know if I go to the like to look at the ingredients probably like has to do with like heavy stuff. Right. But when I smell it, it smells really modern. It is very modern. And very polite. It's very easy to it's, like. It's very use, wearable. I'm not gonna use it with perfume. But, but actually, if I take it with perfume, I'll take this. I actually find that more masculine than feminine. This is balmy and funky is what I get. But it's really well, it's very smooth, it's so it's hard. Funky. funky like the inside of an ass cheek after a full day of work. Funky. <laughs> I cannot be in this video when you say it like that. <laughs> Has nothing to do with Dior. <laughs> no, no, we are talking about some other oud. Uh, 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 Chanel oud. <laughs> Chanel oud. Yes. I didn't know you funky, but that's what you mean by funky. I mean, that's funky. Like vintage. I like it. I like it now better than when you sprayed it. Mm -hmm. I like when you, I like the moment you sprayed it in the air. And I thought, oh my god, something so unique. I'm gonna have to wear it. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly what it is I'm smelling. I smelled it in the air, and I loved it, and I liked it now. And I don't like it when it first started to fly. I think it's a very unusual Watch. fragrance, which it's unique. That's what I said. You spray it in the air, and it's like, oh. And the direction Dior has been going, I did not expect. I thought it was going to be much more but we have, But we have Spice Blend. Spice Blend's nice. Yeah. But it's not outrageously unique. It's not about I, Spice's Blend. It's about I think it fits nicely into the line with Ombre Nui. But if you go to like a spice shop, right. a you, soup, you would have... Uh, for example, if you grab all the stuff in a spice shop, in a suitcase, when you open it, spice blend is what you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. That was the idea of it. It's not like he didn't like Christian Christian Gadir wanted to buy something with all the different spices just blend together. That's not nice. Right. It's gotta have some kind of harmony. I get it. I get it. It's a beautiful fragrance. I love spice blend. Like spice blend has a pretty unique a flower. I can tell. Flower name, but the flowers are really unique. To me, it's very churchy and incensey and dry. A lot of patchouli and spices. It's uh, a woody oriental. I love spice blend. I think spice blend is what is truly exotic. I smell that. I'm I love it. I'm I'm honest else. to goodness, love like, it. It takes me somewhere else, not in Canada. Got it. So let me look at powerful woody duo of wood from Laos and That's sandalwood from Sri Lanka. It's funky, definitely, and I would like to see what this does on warm skin. I mean, to wear it properly, yeah. Um, food rosewood. So smoky, milky, creamy. Really? Spicy, rich, softens the base. Oh, you see? Saffron. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So lots of spice. Oh, that's purple. Yeah. Peppercorn. Purple oud to me is, is much more There's massive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't smell the orange, though. I smell the peppercorn. And a lot of vetiver, yeah, I get. Right? I think it's a little bubble. Funny. Well, it could be in there because we don't list everything on the website. Yeah, of course. Very okay. exclusive. On our notes and stuff. 
people come to my counter and tell me all this stuff in there, I was like, I don't know because I don't get teach like that. I get teach by the stories. If you come to the counter at Toronto uh, Socks Boutique and you want to teach King, he'll be here to show you around. Any parting words? I was happy to see you in COVID. In COVID. This is the first time we've seen each other. In what? In, in what? three months, four months. Uh, it's been a long time. time. It came before, before the COVID starts. I haven't been since March. Remember, I was gonna do a private room for you. Right, right. And I bought all the champagne in here. And I was like, whoa, I got, I got, and I got kicked back. You know what that sounds like? And I got kicked back. I kicked back. Kick, you got kicked by the public. Right, I'd actually invited Young to do uh, some videos with me, and he had rented a, or reserved a room here at Saks and, and, and set out, you know, a huge display, but COVID shut us down. But anyway, hopefully we can still do that sometime. Yeah, definitely. We should do yeah. it. Cool. We right. want to do it for you. But I'll show them around here really yeah. quickly, but we'll see you soon. All right, what's up? And I'm just back from the Dior Boutique in Toronto. And bam, got a couple of things that I'm going to share with you. All right, there is this is my scent of the day, and I forgot what was in here. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Here we go. Bam. Rouge Trafalgar, which I've grown to love interestingly okay there is my water dude rosewood and i picked up lucky Stupid as fuck name, but beautiful lily of the valley fragrance. I mean, it is quite simple. Like a lot of the uh, underwhelming Dior's have become, but I gotta say, they're all rather beautiful in a sense. So, and this one I've really come to like this is holy peony name's a little bit better than lucky but it's man it's so nice it's got this sweet jammy fruity apricot um sort of honeyed apricot with and i don't know what peony is but it's i definitely pick up a floral like a blossom and I think it's going to be perfect for this time of year. Damn. There you go, holy peony. So I was thinking, I was debating between it was uh, Lucky and I was debating between Lucky and I think it was Rose, not Rose Gypsy, but Rose something, Ro not Rose Sakura. There was a Rose themed one in there and... Let's see what's in here. I'm not going to show that. But in here is a 
Okay. Bois de Argent. Candle. Oh, wow. Smoky vanilla. And this is a 250 gram. There you go. That's kind of my little hole there. So, um, Oud Rosewood, haven't been able to form an opinion or thoughts yet. I will, I'll wear it tomorrow and, and, and again and again and get back to you. Uh, at first, I felt like I was a little bit underwhelmed. Um, you know, for the most part, it felt balmy and a little bit funky, like I said, but wasn't really able to pick out any major notes. I don't get a rose per se. Oud, I don't get a straight up smoky, dry, woody oud. It's more funky in the way, you know, Les Labos. U27 is just off of uh, first impressions, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, see ya.